Hey you guys, Von Baden here. A um late in the evening. Wanted to try something and it was kinda coming out kinda cool. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Today we're going to talk about how to make chain mail. Uh this is just a small piece and we'll go over what this is called in just a few minutes all right so stay tuned hey guys von baden back talk to you about doing chain mail now this is something that i had seen other people they have pieces that they made and look cool. Never really thought much about it. And then with a lot of things that I make, I started wondering how hard could it be. So I went and got a few things some of the stuff i had sitting around i had this wire granted it wasn't curly cued like this we'll get into all, all of that in a minute but it's 14 gauge wire and <clears throat> that is what i'm making the chain mail out of and then i have a three eighths of an inch diameter and this is three feet long and this is what I used <clears throat> to do the coil now what I ended up doing let me switch ends here so it's a little bit more easy to understand basically what I did was I started at one end grabbed it with the pliers, and then just hand twisted it, which worked. You could get it done a lot quicker using a drill, put a drill on the end of it, you know, flatten it out or whatever, put a drill on the end of it, drill a hole in it to put the end of the wire, and then spin it and feed it on there. But you need this to give you your, your rings. Uh, let's see if I can put this somewhere where it doesn't fall. Hopefully that'll work. If not, people might get woke up in the house. Anyways. <clears throat> so, a few learn from my mistakes. Now, these ones that are really close, it helps when you're closing the ring shut. It's kind of a pain in the butt when they're open. There is use, uh, having some of these open is a bit useful in the next couple phases. But anyways, you wanna take your, take your wire do your coil. And what I've been doing is taking where that last cut is right there. And I put the snips right next to it. So when I cut it, I get this perfect looking ring it has a little gap in it there try to show you there you go you want to cut out a whole bunch of these which i've already done um i got handfuls here so this first piece that i'm going to show you is called a four in one that 
first little piece that I showed you is four rings connected on to one center ring. So the way that is done, after you snip using wire snips to cut your rings loose, you're going to take a total of five. Four of those rings you are going to use some pliers on and you're going to close the ring out completely. Now I'm using steel wire here and it does not bend and give under pressure as much as aluminum wire would. I didn't have any aluminum wire, so I don't know exactly how well they would hold. You can't see it there, but anyways, I don't know how well aluminum would hold the opening closed. You might get a real good look. You might not not sure i'm using several different pliers i would definitely say make sure you have some good pliers i'm using these little needle nose pliers i've got this set and i've got these little curly doodads that have some kind of craft fur on them, don't know. And then I also got these lower ones that are flat like the first pair, but have a curve to them and a little bit smaller for getting into those little areas. And last but not least, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that, I have these channel locks. So we'll go through and I'll walk you through all of it. So. I have closed four of these rings completely up. I'm going to take a ring that's still open. And you're basically going to take one, two, three, four of these rings, and you're going to close it. Like so, um, I, I'm all kinds of fuzzy here, but you want to close it up. Now I use, I'm using these to get the, those ones that are kind of curved all over the place. I'm using those to kind of get the two ends of the link close together and then I'm using the channel locks to kind of since it sent it closed so now we have another little piece of chain mail and this is a four in one so you got one solid ring and the other four are closed and looped onto that. Now, this video is already getting kind of long, so I'm going to stop it right here and do a video for a later point in time on how to chain these together. But it's a lot of the same repetitive motions to complete a project, but... You definitely want to make a lot of these, especially if you're making something fairly large, you want a whole lot. It's going to take a whole lot to cover it. But, neat little thing to work on while you're watching TV or whatever. So, hopefully you found 
this a little bit interesting. I would love to see if any of you did find it interesting and try your hand in it. I'd love to see what you come up with. I will post pictures as I go along and do another video on how to link it all together. But it's pretty much the same process as what you did here. And you just continue on and you hook a 4-in-1 to this one and then a 4-in-1 to that one and so on and so forth. And then you make out your shape that you need. So we'll continue on the next video for that. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.